Jo. All righty, guys. Welcome into the after shrock. Thanks for joining us. Now, this looks a little bit different than what you're used to, right? So there's like, there's two boxes and there's two faces. I'm joined in studio today. Well, it's actually kind of his studio, so. It's our studio. It's our studio. I it's love it. Omaha's studio. So uh, Scott Voorhees was uh, running the boards for the program today. So you may have heard him if you called into the program. Um, KFAB has some super, super cool things planned to do with the studio. We actually do the show live in KFAB studio every week. So uh, in July, for a few shows, we're going to be in, well, not this studio. Yeah. I won't say maybe, it's a maybe, lesser studio. Maybe August, uh, it's looking like. August? Perhaps okay. August. August. Yeah. Uh, next up, guys, we're doing something weird with the microphones here to make sure that everything's, so I'm talking really loud because <laughs> I think I'm on Scott's microphone. What? Yeah, <laughs> what? Can, can everybody hear myself and Scott okay? Just let us know on Facebook, pop it up a, a comment, let us know. All right, so I guess with all that said, Scott, what is planned for the, what amazing things are coming in the KFAB studio? All of the guts of the radio station are going to be torn out and replaced with all new stuff. So from a technical standpoint, from a listener standpoint, it's not gonna make that big a difference. Um, but from where the radio station is positioning itself for, from a multimedia standpoint, it's going to be a lot of fun. We're getting rid of all of these nasty, I don't know what color these walls originally were, but we're going to have them back to a nice solid color again. We're going to have some gray. multimedia computer displays, screen displays behind Thor, behind the uh, captain's chair here. And we're going to be able to do some really fun videos uh, here on, on Facebook. Um, and, and a lot of you know stuff that's not only happening during the radio show, like Thor does the entire show stream live, but then we do the aftershock. We'll be able to do things like that from all of our hosts. KFAB's Morning News with Gary Saddlemeyer. I'm on from 9 to 11 each weekday, and then Chris Baker is really looking forward to doing some fun stuff um, in the afternoons between 2 and 6, not just during the show, but during the commercial breaks, after the show. There's always some a of the, lot of weird stuff going on. Some of the Chris's best show. stuff happens yeah. during the commercial breaks, guys. Yes. It's like you, the conversations you have. Right. Well, yeah, and his you, name was Danny. Right. <laughs> it sounds like a joke. Right. You expect that from Chris because Chris is kind of nuts. But you listen to Gary Saddlemeyer and you think Gary's very stoic. He is the biggest child of any member of the KFAB <laughs> staff. And some of the things that are said and happen during the commercial breaks, uh, you're going to say, oh my gosh, I never thought that about Gary. And uh, he'll, because he'll forget this thing's on, and that's going to be really fun to watch. <laughs> <laughs> uh, are they, are you going to make them dress up? Are they going to wear anything different than what they normally wear because there's cameras in the studio? We, no, I uh, wear my Shrock t-shirt because, yeah, you know. I, I'd like to say we're always wearing a suit and tie, but now that I'm on camera here, you can see that, you know, it's, I'm, I'm going to play golf here in an hour and a half, so I'm, I'm ready for that. So the first, you're saying the first episode will be like Reservoir Dogs. Right. <laughs> yes. And then after that, right. after yep. that, it's whatever, anything goes. Yes. Speedos and mesh shirts, got it. it whatever happens, happens. <laughs> and this is only going to be possible because Thor is going to put it all together and teach us all how to use it, which is going to be fun for everyone involved. Yeah, so this is kind of the first demo of what we can do with the with the split screen tech about um, now, of course, you know, I usually for the show, I have one really good camera. That camera I graciously gave to Scott. Uh, and then I use, I'm using my laptop lid camera for the second one. So you'll notice that our two, our two images, you know, our, our skin tones are a little bit different. Part of that's the lighting. There's a lot part that of goes into me. this. Yeah. Oh, yeah, part, of that's, part of that's the fact he golfs and I don't. Um, but uh, there's a lot that goes into this and to get it all set up and working well. Um, and uh, it's going to be an amazing process to go through to the end. And it's going to be a little technical. The radio hosts are going to have to, like, copy and paste some codes and stuff. Uh, it's going to be fun to watch. But once it's all set up and rolling, um, we can have some really cool stuff. Like, we could have Skype guests in studio um, that are not actually in the studio. We can have cameras on them. Um, it, it's kind of nice. Uh, we can also bring in all kinds of different audio feeds. We can bring in, um, you know, just computers or just phones or just the studio so literally something during the commercial break that's run, running on KFAB um, you're actually hearing the KFAB signal uh, during a commercial break but if you're watching online we can actually switch because on Facebook you have to be careful about running ads um, so because they don't like you to run ads during live shows basically um, there's some exceptions but you have to be careful so we can actually switch the microphones to in studio during the commercial break so then you're not hearing the, the commercial, you're hearing what's going on in the studio, which is kind of cool. Now, the thing that I want to know is, 
Uh, we joke about it during the aftershock here, because as you, if you were watching the stream during the show, you can see that during the actual compute this program, we topped out at about 22 viewers, continuous. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, that 22 people didn't watch it from start to finish, you know, tune in, tune out, all that. You don't have to explain that to you. Um, that's more for the viewers. You can see now in the aftershock, we're popping 44. Now, we're, it's either because it's an hour later in the morning and people are awake now, or maybe they're out of church, I don't know. It could be because you're here. It could be. Probably um, not. But what I'm saying is the, the aftershock is walking on top of whatever's playing on KFAB right mm -hmm. now. So how are your internal hosts going to handle that? Because like, if I have something super special planned, I'm going to suck all them listeners into my after program, right. and then I'm just left over with the people who don't know how to use Facebook. We're just happy to have people connected to us. So uh, whether it's <laughs> if they're joining us via Facebook, great, glad you're here. It's an extension of our radio station. If for some reason you're watching, you know, this on the air, and you're like, oh my gosh, I'm, I'm, I completely forgot about the show that's on the radio station right now. Most of our shows, including some of these weekend shows, are on the podcast. For example, you can go to kfab.com, and in the drop-down menu under podcast, you can select compute this, and you can. Listen to that any time during the week that you want. Um, so it's it's not only a radio station universe here at KFAB, it's also right there on your phone or your computer anytime you want it. We are on demand. All you have to do is demand something of us. Here we go. <laughs> and you know, he is such the diplomat. Oh my gosh, such a diplomat because you know, Chris Baker's gonna be like, All the listeners are belong to me. Yeah. That's it. That's the attitude we want. That's the attitude we want. All right, all right. So jumping into uh, the final couple of stories here that we've got. Not a ton of time. We're not going to have a 45-minute aftershock this week, guys, because I'm keeping him from a golf game, okay? It's his fault. Uh, <laughs> the uh, Windows 10 is going to warn you about insecure Wi-Fi networks. Um, these are networks, when they say insecure, you might think Wi-Fi networks that are not protected by a password. No, they mean Wi-Fi networks that are protected by a password that is a WEP password or a TKIP password. You don't have to understand what all that means. All that means is those two security strings can be compromised by my six-year-old and a laptop. They can crack your Wi-Fi. So the, the FBI literally puts out recommendations if you're a home user, do not use those encryptions because it's pretty much the same as running a non-encrypted network. Still, when you go to some places like um, you know Starbucks or whatever, they'll be running a WEP encrypted network and it's, it's, it's nuts. Um, so starting with version 1903, the update that you are installing now on your computers with Safe Upgrade, um, Windows 10 will show a warning to users if you're connected to a Wi-Fi network using these crappy technologies to secure them. WEP is Wired Equivalent Privacy, which is totally not Wired Equivalent, or TKIP, the Temporal Key Integrity Protocol, which sounds like something from Star Trek. Uh, Captain, we have a Temporal Key Integrity Protocol violation. What do you mean? The Russians are hacking into our Wi-Fi. You know, it's like uh, these authentication protocols are used for insecuring Wi-Fi connections. Both protocols have been deemed insecure many years ago. This is not new. Uh, they're widely known and accepted that Wi-Fi connections on these two con these two protections can be decrypted with relative ease, like a six-year-old with a laptop. Did I mention my daughter's special needs? Um, Microsoft said after users update the Windows 10 1903, Windows will warn you if you're connected to one of these two networks. So. On, the reason I'm bringing you this story is after you upgrade to 1903 at home, if you're on your wireless network and you get a warning that your wireless network is insecure, the reason you're getting the warning is because you're using one of these ancient encryption methods. Now, it's possible that your wireless router will have a more advanced encryption method, a better one that you can get. It's also possible that uh, it doesn't, and you have to buy a new one. <laughs> and so uh, we can help you with that. If you want us to you know, help you uh, call it over the Schrock desk, we can definitely figure out what's going on there and make sure that everything is, uh, is good. Now, one of the things that's cool about the, uh, the OBS studio that we're using right now, Scott, to, this is a demo of what we're going to use in the studio, is I just realized I'm, I'm talking about this, and you have to look incredibly interesting because you're on camera, even if you might not be. You may have other things you want to be doing right now. So what I've done is I've transitioned to single cam view live stream. So you can live switch between the cameras and different views. I'm not on camera anymore? You're not on camera at the moment. Put your shirt back on. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, so anyway, so this, is, uh, this was kind of like a live demo of some of the stuff we're going we're gonna to play with in the studio. Um, and it's all running on a laptop right now. But now we're talking about bringing in like holiday specials, 
that have uh, you know eight cameras and three or four monitors on them, and those monitors are also the TVs, and we can slide things around the room. Um, it's it's going to be pretty awesome when we get all that going. Um, as far as stories go, guy, that that was pretty much everything we had from the news spectrum this week. There wasn't a ton of news stories, which was fitting. Today's Memorial Day weekend. Um, a special uh, a special thank you. You know, my, my son was volunteering with Troop 402 uh, to go put out the flags at the cemetery. Um, you know, a lot of people don't realize, like, how do those flags get there? Like, who puts out the veterans' flags? You know, it's, it's volunteer groups, people going out and doing something nice to remember why these people gave their lives for their country, whether they were police officers, whether they were military. Um, so just a, a great big thank you uh, from all of us at Schrock, everyone at KFAB, um, for the, the work that everyone does for our country and our communities to keep us safe. We're going to keep you in our thoughts today. Um, and thanks for watching the program. We appreciate you guys sticking with us. As always, Aftershock viewers, my most dedicated, ardent viewers, I want to ask you if you would please uh, review, like, share uh, what we post on Facebook. It immensely helps us reach out to other consumers. This is especially important now that we are in a knife fight with pretty much every computer repair shop uh, because we can't buy ads anymore. Um, now, our, our digital presence is definitely a grade above what a lot of our other competitors have. Uh, but that doesn't mean uh, that we're not going to constantly try to improve it. So on one hand, it's a bummer that we can't buy ads anymore. But on the other hand, we can take that seven or 10000 a month we were spending on Google ads and we can put it into content. So uh, we shot a video last week uh, in the Data Recovery Lab of us fixing a Stiction hard drive. So literally, we're, we're producing videos now that are going to go up on the Facebook page that kind of show you some behind-the-scenes stuff of how do we fix stuff at Shrock. Um, just uh, some additional content, some additional do-it-yourself stuff because we have the budget for that now. And honestly, content is king. So if you want your website to rank number one and you want your customers to like and share, you have to produce really interesting stuff to like and share. You know, Scott Voorhees without a shirt on. It's transition. <laughs> it is interesting. I will share. <laughs> All right, guys. Um, I'm going to bounce back over to the Facebook window here because I was not able to look at comments while I'm in OBS. So when you're in the studio view, you can't see the Facebook comments. Uh, so you'll have two monitors mm -hmm. for that reason. All right. You can hear okay. Awesome. Sounds good. Safe upgrade is not working for you, Ray. Got it. Okay. So here's the deal, Ray. Um, what I'd like you to do is give us a call in the service center. We're open today at noon. Give us to like 1230 because we're going to get a lot of calls from the show this morning. Uh, but give us a call in the service center. Let us do a Schrock desk and see if we can't get connected and, and get this working for you. If we can't, there are some computers that need assistance installing this. We'll get it done in the service center for you. All right. Let's go down the scroll here. Good morning, Janet. Carolyn, we can hear regular Schrock on the radio, but not the Aftershock. That's right. The Aftershock does not air on the radio. It only airs on Facebook. It's great to have a UNK grad in charge of KFAB. You graduated from UNK? Oh, yeah. Ah, I didn't know that. You know, you can't spell drunk without UNK. We've heard that. Yeah. You, you, a few We've times? Heard that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> great place to go to school. No, I'll, we have a lot of great colleges and universities. It's kind of funny because each university, whether it's UNL, UNO, or UNK, they all have separate strengths and they all have uh, different, different communities, basically. But when they lobby for funds, Strangely, they're all very unified and uniform. Right. <laughs> it's mm -hmm. like, we need money, mm -hmm. but we're ourselves. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of funny. Kind of funny to watch from the political standpoint. But we don't want to get into politics. No, no, no. Then we can't boost the post. <laughs> all right. Is the light switch to Scott's right going to be uncovered during the redo? LOL. Huh? The light switch to light Scott's switch. right? Scott's right. There's a, is there a switch on your right? No. <laughs> I'm not sure what you're talking about, Brad. <laughs> all right. <laughs> We're all looking around like idiots for a light switch now. <laughs> you got us. Mm -hmm. I think we just got punked by Brad. That's fine. Yeah. <laughs> all right, guys. I'm going to wrap it up. Thanks for watching. We appreciate it. Your Google reviews are appreciated. Your Facebook reviews and recommendations are appreciated. Have a great week. If you need help installing 1903, we're here to help you out. Ask us anytime. We're happy to give you a hand. Thanks a lot and have a great evening or afternoon. Evening comes later. Afternoon first.